Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your ninth CSS animations tutorial and in this video we're going to go through the animation shorthand method of creating animations. Alright then so I've just done a couple of things. All I've done is make Luigi go forwards instead of backwards because I started to feel a little bit sorry for him. And uh, I've also just made them both linear in the timing function, so there's no speeding up, there's no slowing down, so now it's just a complete cycle going at the same speed, which looks more natural in this case, I think. Alright, so in this tutorial, I want to go through the animation shorthand, because right now you can see we've got quite a lot of different animation properties going on there, right? And um, we can just shorten this down to one property with different values, and that is the animation property. Now to do that, I just want to pop in a couple of clouds over here and we'll go through the example on those. So let's head to the index and then in the sky right here, all we're going to do is add in a couple of images. And the first image is going to be, in fact, they're going to be the same, both of them, but they're both going to have a class of cloud. And then the source is going to be equal to image forward slash cloud dot PNG. So let's just copy that dude right there and paste him underneath. Save that and let's see what happens on the page. Now we've got two clouds in the sky, but we just want to style those up a little bit to make them look different from one another. So what I'm going to do is first of all say cloud. This is going to target them both. And I'm going to say position is going to be absolute like that. And now one goes on top of the other. So let's make them different positions. So the way we'll do this is by using nth child to target them differently. So we'll say cloud um, nth child, and then this is going to be one to begin with, to grab the first one. And then in here, what we're going to do is set that to be a width of around 200 pixels, like so, a little bit smaller. Uh, we're going to say top 120 pixels, a little bit further down. Uh, we're going to give this an opacity of around 0.5 because I want to give the impression that this is a little more further in the distance. And then what I'm going to do is go after the other cloud. So I'll say cloud nth child and then two this time. Give ourselves a little bit of room down here. Okay. And then this time I want to make the width about 300 pixels, a little bit larger. Uh, the top is going to be zero. And I think that will do. So now we just need to animate these in a different way. So let's create um, a keyframe for these clouds. So we'll call this animation wind, right? So that's going to control the clouds moving from left to right or right to left, whichever. So let's say at keyframes, call it wind. And then in here, it's going to be from and to. And same with these things right here, we can just control the position on the X axis, but instead of doing transform this time, I'm just going to control the left property. So I'm going to start off with left right here to be minus, I don't know, 200, 300 pixels, because that's the width of the largest one. And it's going to start at minus 300 pixels off the screen over here. Then it's going to go to left and we'll pop in 100%. And that's going to go right over to this side of the screen, yeah? So let's save that. And then up here, what we need to do is apply these animations to the different clouds. Now, I want them to move at different speeds, so I'm not going to apply them to the clouds and target them both with the same animation. I'm going to do each one differently. So let's do this animation shorthand, eh? Let's say animation, and that's all we need to do. First of all, we give it the name of the animation. That's the first value I normally do. And I'm going to say wind. That's the animation we want, right? After that, I'm going to say how long we want it to take. And this one in particular, I'm going to say take about 40 seconds, something like that. Maybe that's a little too fast. I've never seen wind that strong. Okay, 80 seconds, right? So now it's going nice and slowly across the page. The third one I want to specify is the timing function. And that is going to be linear because I want it to go a constant speed throughout. And after that, I want it to loop through over and over and over. So I'm going to say infinite. That's the keyword we used for the iteration count right here. Infinite, like so. Um, and then after that, I would like to pop it in the reverse direction, I think. So I'll say reverse right there. So it's going to go from right to left. Okay. 
So now let's just copy this and do the same thing on the other cloud. We'll just change it up a little bit in a second. And we'll say um, this one is going to take about 50 seconds, so a little bit quicker, because normally you see um, the foreground ones going a little quicker than the distance, right? So we'll change that from 80 to 50, and I think that will just about do. Right, so this is the shorthand way we can write things. Um, this is normally the the uh, the order I do things in, the name of the keyframe first of all, then how long it's going to take, then the timing function, then the looping, the iteration count, then the, um, the, the direction, all right? And if you wanted to pop a delay in there, then you can pop it in anywhere here. Um, it's just another... Uh, time if you like so seconds so we could do something like two seconds and that's going to give this a two second delay um, but I'm not going to do that in this case the one thing you need to be wary of is if you do put a delay in it has to come after the um, the length of time it takes to do the full animation right the duration the first number that you pop in this shorthand is always the duration the second number is the delay apart from that the order doesn't really matter because it goes off these key words right here and the animation name right so that is how we do the animation shorthand guys if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below otherwise i'm going to see you in the very next tutorial